Hi, I'm Dave, and on this episode of TRP Tech Talk, we're going to discuss how to properly bed in your brake pads and rotors. So what is bedding in? Well, it's the process of embedding pad material onto the rotor through heat cycles. And why is this important? Well, this will maximize the effectiveness of your brake by giving you the best friction. Now, how is this done? Well, it's done by cycling the brake through heat cycles. So today, I'm going to walk you through TRP's recommended brake pad bed-in procedure. To start, pedal up to 15 miles an hour. Then, using one brake, slow down to five, but don't stop. That way you're not holding a hot pad to a hot rotor, which could cause the pad to glaze. Then, pedal back up to 15 miles an hour and slow down to five, again, using one brake. Repeat this process until you start feeling the brakes come into their potential power. Now, this could take longer than others depending on what brake pad compound you're using. If you're using something soft like our blue resin, it could happen in 10 to a dozen times. If you're using our full metallic compound, it could take a bit longer. So prepare to get a workout. Now, once you've done enough cycles, you'll start to feel that the brakes have reached their full potential and you're ready to hit the trail. As you can see demonstrated by our test rider, He's slowing down from 15 miles an hour down to five, but not stopping, again, allowing the system to cool as he pedals back up to 15. Here I have an example of a new rotor versus one that's already been bedded in. As you can see on the brake track of this rotor, the material that's already been embedded into the surface. And on a new rotor, you can see how the surface is smooth and clean. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below or hit up our customer service team. And for more content like this, feel free to subscribe and check out our website. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.